Live from Immaculate Conception in Eau Claire with our first forecast. That's right, Jamie, and here at Immaculate Conception, what's going on tonight is a science fair, the fourth annual science fair, and what you see behind me are a lot of experiments, 52 to be exact, going on. Uh, kids from grades kindergarten all the way up through fifth grade making these experiments, and coming back in weather, I'll show you one dealing with electricity, I believe, but first, we'll talk about a little bit of weather this afternoon. Really, the main story, sunny and mild conditions out there today, certainly melting the snow, and there you can see the sun coming into view now. We have about an hour of daylight left here across the Chippewa Valley. Temperatures beautiful, 46 degrees in Eau Claire, near 50 for the Twin Cities today. So certainly helping that snow to begin melting and pretty pleasant out there this evening. All things considered, temperatures only dropping back into the mid-30s over the next few hours with partly cloudy conditions. Again, coming back in weather, we'll talk about one of the science experiments going on here at Immaculate Conception and look ahead to a little bit of weather that'll be going on for the Chippewa Valley over the next couple of days. Jerry and Jamie? All right, thank you, Doug. Now, from the News 18 forecast team, weather with Chief Meteorologist Doug Michaels. And I'm here at Immaculate Conception, the fourth annual science fair going on, a subject that's near and dear to my heart, of course. And I'm joined by Efren and Alex, and they're going to talk about one of the 52 experiments going on here at the science uh, fair. Efren, uh, what is your experiment talking about today? Um, my experiment is talking about about electricity, how to light up a bulb. Okay. What grade are you in, by the way, Efren? I'm in third grade. Okay, this looks like a pretty cool experiment. Why don't you tell everyone how this works? Well, first you'll need some materials. Uh, electric uh, rubber band, a uh, battery, and two copper wires. And you will need to attach the, um, the copper wires um, and the rubber band, the battery, all together. And then um, you, you can connect it right here, which I already have one other connected. You connect all the two copper wires to the, the light bulb so it will light up. And of course, if you want that, uh, if you want that wire to stay, all you need is a little uh, clamp, right, to yeah. hold it in. Yeah, you'll just need to push down here and then put it right there. Okay. And once your and once your wires are there, that's called transmitting the electricity from the from the um, storage of the electricity, and the storage of the electricity is coming from the battery. Very good. He's only in third grade, folks. That is amazing. Now, Alex, yeah. this is your brother, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Where do you go to school? I go to North Star Middle School. Okay. And did you mind helping out your brother today? Did you help him at all with this? Well, he's a pretty smart kid, so he <laughs> did most of it by himself. But I would say so. Well, thanks, guys, for coming up here today and showing me your experiment and everybody else, too. Let's take a look outside. We're going to talk about weather this afternoon and beautiful outside across western Wisconsin with plenty of sunshine out there still in the sky.